Hello again. Man, we're getting good at making these daily videos. But anyways, today I wanted to talk about why I stopped riding my motorcycle. I sold my motorcycle to be exact. I had a 2011 Kawasaki Ninja 250R. Bought it with about 800 miles on it. Me and the wife both rode it. There's a video way back on our channel of her dumping it. She uh, went to make a turn and got a little sketched out, like hit the brakes and, you know, throttled at the same time, something like that, and went down. No harm done, but a uh, poor guy that helped her pick it up, was he was in a car at the intersection. He got out, he accidentally grabbed the pipe, so he uh, probably burned his hand a little bit. Sorry, guy, thanks for helping the wife. But uh, it was fun for the time being, uh, definitely fun, but once you have a kid you realize what's really important in life and that's being home for your kid like that's immediately what made me want to sell the bike because I mean just the thought of possibly not coming home I mean there's a guy that I work with he he's been at work for 20 years and he dumped his bike or something happened horrible accident I guess people saw him cleaning out his locker a couple weeks ago couldn't even walk I mean just the thought of that it, it's just so not worth it I thought I had a crack in my windshield here. It was a, uh, looks like bird poop. Just washed it last night. Of course, there'd be bird poop or bug splatter. No surprise. But, uh, <laughs> always getting off subject. But, yeah, we sold it to Rumble On, which is, they're basically like a company, like the last video we talked about, We Buy Any Car. It's basically the motorcycle version of that, which is nice. They come and pick it up. Uh, you basically send them six pictures from different angles of the bike plus the speedometer and all that. The bike had 2,003 miles on it when we got rid of it. I remember my best day on it was I did 100 miles in one day. I started at about 7 in the morning. The wife left for work. And before noon, right before noon, I finished. And I hit 100 miles. So that was mighty wild. <laughs> I, uh, I couldn't believe it. You don't even notice. You just get lost on motorcycles. I mean, if you have any interest in them, I mean, I'd say go ahead and ride it if you have, like, no worries in life. Like, you know, if you're a single man or something, just to have, like, no family, it's dangerous. That That's the main thing about it. It's super dangerous, and that's what worried me about it is I, I thought too hard about what could happen, and that, to me, just wasn't worth it. Uh, you know, because you get in a car accident, you're going to be safe. There's airbags and there, you know, everything's protecting you. But as soon as you lay that bike down or something, it don't matter what you're wearing. I mean, you're messing up legs for sure. That's the first thing, legs. I've, I've heard of so many motorcycle accidents. And the worst one was, a guy told me a couple weeks ago, he was uh, he's a volunteer firefighter. He said, thankfully, he didn't get to this call because he was at work. But his brother got to go to it and what had happened was the motorcycle was coming through an intersection guy ran a red light in the car the motorcycle hit the back end of the car and the motorcyclist went about 20 feet in the air and landed on his head on the pavement and it basically don't matter you know you're wearing a motorcycle helmet they took off his helmet his eyes were popped out and everything just, just the thought of that oh I mean there's just no surviving that so yeah, I mean, it definitely was fun and maybe far into the future, I'm talking 20, 30 years, maybe I would do it again. Um, it's just nowadays, just people are not paying attention. Like I do these videos, but my eyes are constantly on the road. I'm on the highway, nobody, you know, I keep my distance from people. I, you gotta do things safe. Like back in the day, I always said, I get text so easy on flip phones. I don't even want to text on a smartphone in the car because back in the day on flip phones, you could text without looking. I used to text on the T9 or whatever it was called and at a red light or a stop sign, I'd hurry up and look and see if I texted right and usually it was perfect and then I'd send it. But nowadays, you know, you can't fill stuff like that. You could fill wherever he was. But as always, Hope you enjoyed this story, and uh, sorry to anyone that loves motorcycles and is sad that I got rid of mine. It's for a better cause. I paid $2,500 for it, got $1,700 from it for that Rumble On company, so it wasn't bad. Not a bad loss. See you next time, right here with the Gear Shots. I love you all so very much. Thank you for stopping by. Mwah!